Join us right now, uh, moon trees and uh, <laughs> beautiful skies. <laughs> beautiful skies. I know, it's it was awesome. a gorgeous day, Kevin. It was, it was beautiful a great day. Out there. Yeah, let me take you to our time lapse, show you what it looked like. We started with clear conditions, but all oh, those clouds, they came racing in. So did a little valley haze throughout the day. By afternoon and evening, it was partly to mostly cloudy, and uh, it was a nice night, but it definitely had more cloud cover. Look at this shot in from Keith Finlayson. If you look real close, you'll actually see a sun dog right here in the corner, popped up right at sunset. And again, it's amazing how this works. Within five days of storm, well, we're going to get that at least. In fact, great shot, Keith. Thanks for sending it in. Your weekend forecast, oh my, it looks so nice. 50s up in the northern mountains, 40s in the Uintas, 70s on Saturday across southern Utah. And the trend holds on Sunday for temperatures. We will bring in a little bit more cloud cover, but it looks really, really comfortable. Temperatures will be above normal, so soak it up because some cooler changes are coming to end the month of October and start November. It's 52 in Salt Lake, 50 in Ogden, 46 right now in Provo, while we're still in the 60s in St. George. There's cloud cover out to the west and a weak little disturbance that's just going to graze by Utah tonight. You can see it here moving in from the west on satellite. A little bit of moisture with this, although very little of that is reaching the ground, but that will be the story overnight as these clouds drift across the state by morning should be gone. Take a look at storm zone this evening, running it through the morning. You'll see that dissipates quickly. We'll wake up to clear skies, sunny conditions, and then a batch of clouds come in from the south tomorrow afternoon and evening and push north for our Sunday. Another partly cloudy day. There'll still be some sunshine peeking through, but we'll still see the clouds. And then this, that's the storm. It will be moving in. Little bit of precipitation Monday night, but the front will sweep through overnight and into Tuesday, producing some valley rain, mountain snow, and definitely cooling us off. So tomorrow, mostly sunny in 70s in Nephi and Green River, 74 in Richfield, Southern Utah, 84 degrees in St. George, 70s up the road in Cedar City and Beaver, 60s in Loa. Those overnight lows stay very cool, 28 degrees for the low in Loa, St. George, 50s tonight, 80s tomorrow. We get 80s for three days, then the storm comes through and will really drop. 60s, a 24 degree temperature drop from Saturday to Tuesday with some rain into St. George, not a lot, but a little. And then Halloween, we've got sunshine and 60s. In the north, we'll be dealing with some clouds overnight, but more sunshine tomorrow. Upper 60s in Logan and West Valley, 70s in Spanish Fork, Salt Lake, and Provo. And the seven-day forecast, well, you better soak those 70s up because they're going away. And frankly, they may not ever come back this year. 60 on Monday, 40s by Tuesday, some valley rain and mountain snow, Another storm has the potential for our Friday. Halloween looks dry, but cool for the trick-or-treaters, so a little bit below normal for Halloween coming up on Thursday. That's right. Just put a coat over those costumes. You're good to go. Layer, layer, layer. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. All right. Coming up, the Jets.